Tando aka medical beauty blog so we're back with another video today uh, how to start uh, your own makeup kit and to be honest makeup for me is, is is an it's a hobby it's an obsession and I find it as an investment also because I love collecting makeup and I've start I started slowly and I'm still growing my collection it is an expensive hobby to have, but I wouldn't like kill it 100% like that unless otherwise you're just hoarding the makeup and you're not using it. And for me, is I use my makeup a lot. So yeah, for me, it's it's been an investment, so I don't see it as wasting money. But my mom would <laughs> beg to differ because some of the things that I have have actually been bought by my mom and my, my dad and also. some of this makeup is bought by my own from my own allowance so the money I, I receive for food and other necessities I sometimes always just buy makeup because go bad guys like it's an addiction for me so anyway enough rambling if you've watched this video thus far please don't forget to subscribe click on the notification bell so that you can be notified whenever i upload videos anyway let's start i'm going to start from the eyebrows so first thing that you need to have in your makeup kit a spoolie this so you use this to sweep your um, to blend in your eyebrow pencil but firstly you also have to sweep up your brows before you start using an out an eyebrow pencil so this is very important to have this so this is the other alternative i have so it's a spoolie on one hand one end and then it's a flat concealer brush on the other side so you get a two-in-one this is the first ever brush i bought when i started my makeup kit who mentioned you then buy a pencil an eyebrow pencil i always buy an eyebrow pencil that is close to the color of my hair so i always use 04 or any light like not dark not black i don't use black i use the shade before black to do my eyebrows so this one fortunately comes with a spoolie so it's very cheap like you can get this for like five rand ten rand and essence in sa has very good one it has a micro precise eyebrow pencil and i love that one however i've run out of it so i've gone back to buying this one it does the thing you have that then what else do you need for your brows you need concealer my favorite favorite all time first ever concealer that i ever bought was the la go pro concealer guys I love this concealer like it is everything i have it i have another one that is waiting to be opened i buy some more whenever i come to russia so this is a vital thing to have in your makeup kit so i use this for my brows i use the shade phone for my brows but you have to like buy one shade lighter than your foundation whenever you're buying concealer so that it can highlight it's bit, the essence of a concealer is to highlight your makeup so this I we're moving on to eyes now to eyes as a beginner i wouldn't say you really need an um eyeshadow palette like that but if you want to practice on how to use eyeshadows then maybelline has good ones like i left my maybelline eyeshadow palettes with my sister at home because she was she wanted to start using makeup so she took mine everything in maybelline is good it's perfect even essence has very good eyeshadow palette another good drugstore eyeshadow palette that you can buy is this nyx one there's the ultimate brights there's the ultimate nudes i think it's called i'm not sure what it's called exactly but you can also buy this one it's really good oh, we're done with eyes oh wait i forgot eyeliner so this is the black eyeliner that i have i bought this from a vendor here like in Russia. maybelline has good ones too um la girl also has good liners and also essence also has good liners then after this is mascara my all-time two favorite mascara so far 
it's the maybelline lash sensational mascara i love like i swear by this one i use this until it finishes for like i've bought this since i got back to russia it's still there like it's been five months or six months i've been here it's still there and also i love the brush on this it's curved up because i have small lower lashes so this swoops right into it and spreads the product evenly without creating clumps or anything like that and then i use the large bristles to just sweep through and make sure that there's no clumpy and then my other fave is this essence princess it's princess something mascara guys like it's this one with the green thingy this is the first ever essence mascara that i've ever used and i'm in love do you hooked so i love this one and i love combining it with the um, with the other with the maybelline one i love combining those two so this are literally my go-to mascaras of all times i love them. liquid liner for a beginner i wouldn't say you really need to buy one but if you want to train and experiment with it then this essence liquid liner is the bomb.com i love it it's easy to use it dries matte which i love in a liquid liner so yeah this is it here so i love it now we're going to primers essence uh you better work gym proof primer now the thing with primers is it depends on what you want from a primer this is a mattifying primer and then there's also a rising or dewy makeup primer this one from la girl guys don't mind how dirty it looks but this one is smooth face primer but it doesn't leave my face feeling dry it leaves my face feeling dewy and hydrated so whenever i want to make have a dewy makeup look i use this primer it's from la girl and then for sweat proof we're not getting oily this one i used it to create this look right now so i use this um primer here and i apply it in the spots where i feel i need it you can use both if maybe you have like an oily t-zone like i normally do sometimes i use them together so i would put this one on my t-zone since my t-zone gets very oily and then i put this one on the outer parameters of my face where i have normal dryish skin I use Stop. It. it's foundation now i love foundations i experiment a lot i use high end i use drugstore foundations but as you're starting out your makeup kit i would say nyx uh total drop foundation is a good one to start with it is a matte semi it's a natural matte foundation so it is good to start with it's good to start your kit with if you have like that's if you want a mattifying foundation then this is the one or the um, maybelline fit me polis mattifying foundation that one too is a good one to to have i had that and then my sister took it so the next foundation to buy is this one this la girl pro coverage hd uh long wear illuminating foundation this is the foundation i this is my first ever foundation i ever bought and i've been using it and this is my second um my second purchase of it so i always have it in my kit no matter what i use it for whenever i want a not matte dewy foundation so whenever i want a dewy hydrated foundation uh, makeup look i always use this one it's the plug concealers we're going back to my girl la girl concealer it is cheap it is full coverage it blends out seamlessly guys i have other drugstore concealers but this one it slaps different that's your makeup i have a setting powder my maybelline fit me setting powder i use this to set my foundation it's it's an on a neat basis if you want like a super matte foundation then this one will do the tricks for you if you don't want your foundation to be super matte then you don't need the step you can just to set my concealer after highlighting i love this yardly 
absolute translucent translucent loose powder this one i bought it from this cam i love this it leaves my skin not dry it also doesn't have flashback it just works for my skin tone or for any other skin tone that i've ever used because i sometimes use it on people who want me to do their makeup so this works for me guys i love it oh or bronze whatever one you want to do contour like a natural contour without having like without using any liquid or cream contours if i'm using powder then i use the essence mattifying compact powder to contour with in the shade espresso i use this one i love how natural this looks on my on my face i use it every day for school so i love how natural it looks and it it's not harsh it just gives me this proper good snatch snatchness as a set that you can buy that is cheap it's this beauty treats beauty treats is sold in this cam so you can get this from beauty treats the and next thing you can get is this essence uh glow to go eyeshadow palette. if you're starting your makeup kit i would advise you to buy things that are in like a palettes of everything so you'll be saving more so for instance you buy this you get different shades as you can see i love this palette but this one is already crumbling this one has hit pan but you get different shades you get a shade gradient which i love because different looks require different highlighters so this is the so we're done with the face completely then now we're going to a lip lips guys it depends on your preference on what kind of lips you love to create i always have a liner so it can be this red one I can use this red to line my nudes, to line my red lipsticks, any lipstick I want to line, honestly, I can use this one. Or I have a red lipstick, it's important to have a red lipstick in your kit. And then you have a nude, it's important to have a nude. This is from Maybelline, From you can get this in SA. This is from Essence, it's a um, long lasting lip gloss. It says lip gloss, but it says matte matte, so confusion but it's not necessarily matte it's not necessarily too glossy it's like uh it's in between man i don't know what to call it but this is good if you are starting up your kit and when it comes to tools what i did was i started i started with these two and a beauty blender and this was all i needed because i could use this to do my brows this to do my whole face including um highlighter which i use sometimes my fingers to highlight my face back in the day and then this brush to just blend every eyeshadow that i needed to blend i would just have a tissue paper to swipe everything out and then just blend it and just also invest in buying uh brushes so these brushes that i have there's more like i can't lift all of them up but i bought my brushes from aliexpress if I could just go through it right now real quick these are the most important brushes that you need in your kit you need two or three eyeshadow brushes to blend your eyeshadow this for a nose contour it's a hit or miss you can live with it you, you can live without it for blush you can use this angle brush this one I just finished doing my makeup you guys so my brushes are not clean them dirty <laughs> so this one for blush this one to blend in or set my foundation this powder brush or also to set my concealer this one depends sometimes i just use my beauty blender but this one this works. one to um to cover out my brows also i use this one or to just put concealer under my on my under eyes i use i this use this one. to highlight my cheat my sides my face basically or even my nose i use this brush. foundation brush this one i love how dense it is and it does the things to blend out my concealer especially after doing my brows this one one contour brush this one then the last thing i almost forgot the last step is the setting spray like i said again it depends on what you want your makeup to look like if you want your makeup to be dewy then you get a dewy setting spray if you want your makeup to be matte then you get a mattifying setting spray just depends on preference i have 
touched on everything I need to touch if you want to get lashes you want to start experimenting with how to use lashes then you can buy lashes I buy mine these are from the kiss um, kiss range is it kiss cosmetics lashes I don't know what it's called but I bought mine from clicks in South Africa this, I think I've covered everything if I'm missing anything please comment down below and tell me what am I missing what you need more clarity on so that I can go back and touch on it again and I hope you guys found this video very helpful and I hope um, this is the content that you subscribed for and like I said again please don't go forget to like comment and subscribe guys please subscribe let's grow and reach 1k before the end of 2020 with love from me to you guys may the good lord ever stay blessing you yeah, and tanda. <laughs>